Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley preview. I've got brand new Team Transport, Hot Wheels Team Transport, just hitting hobby dealers now. We'll be hitting stores very, very soon. We've already done kind of a part one of this particular showcase. If you remember, not too long ago, I was showing this new modal set. Uh, modal had sent me this set. I showed it with the new Walmart uh, Legends Team Transport set. So we can just get this one right out of the way, right? I mean, not, be, not because it doesn't uh, deserve to be showcased. I mean, let's showcase it again. This is just a fantastic, and it's going to be the most popular. The case um, has two of the Porsche shell sets, one of the, uh, of the snake set and the Cuda snake, and then one modal set. So this one's going to go real quick. We know that for sure. Actually, all of these, I think, are going to be very, very popular. So there's going to be no complaints there. But let's take a look at this set real quick. There is the artwork just to review. This is that uh, the Fleet Street truck, which is fairly new, and the LBE R34 Super Silhouette Nissan Ski Nissan Silhouette. Can I start again? LBE30 ER34 Super Silhouette Nissan Skyline. You know what I'm talking about. This is the one we already did the showcase. That was that is in the Mountain Drifter set, brand new casting, the Liberty Walk R34 in modal. Very very cool set. Um, and uh, because we've already showcased it, there it goes. It's going to be popular. We all know that. Let's get to the shell set. I actually think this one might be the highlight for me. Um, I love that one too, but uh, I want to get to this one a little bit, just kind of where my mind is, as you, if you watch the uh, Drag Strip Demons showcase I already did. All right, let's talk about this one. This is the Sakura Sprinter, one of the very first trucks that they did, plus the Porsche 962. This is the second time it's been in Team, team Transport. In fact, why don't we go through those? I brought out all the 962s. Debuted in car culture. I can't remember what mix it was. And Gretty livery. It was actually when at the time when car culture was kind of a medium premium set. It had metal chassis and real rider tires, but uh, they only gave it a couple of tampo passes. So this one looks slightly incomplete, but it's still cool. Sometimes those white cars without full tampos looks a little weird. This is the this was its debut in Team Transport in the Momo livery. It got total complete treatment, right? Rear detail, top detail, side, everything. Uh, and it's a fantastic, just love that Momo version um, of the uh, Porsche 962. Then we saw in the Advan livery, this might be the uh, the best it's ever looked, but I mean, it's Advan. You can put Advan on anything and it's going to look fantastic. Mismatch wheels on this one, obviously, to match the actual race car. This one was super, super clean. We actually saw it repeated. I didn't bring it with me, but repeated in the two pack. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Then we had the entertainment version. Um, there's, there might be some licensing, uh, you know, there'd be, some, if there was, this were licensed, a uh, licensed deco, you might see other words here, right? But it just says Porsche racing. Uh, but you can tell kind of the style of this, uh, has a particular throw, uh, throw to a particular kind of racing style, right? With this 962, which was very, very nice. And then recent, we had the Advan and the two pack and this, uh, Valvoline version. I like the wheels on this one. Once again, mismatched to replicate the racing car. This one is nice and clean too. And now we have the shell version. So let's just go ahead and open it up. I'll show you the back real quickly, just so you can see what's uh, what's there. I think I've already done that. Let's just get to it. Ooh, this one has a little kind of cover here. That's new. That's kind of cool. Keep everything kind of protected. And let's pull this out. Let's pull this out. Throw that away. We'll just take a look at the truck real quickly. It has the Porsche. It's nice. Okay, it's a so shell deco. You see the shell on the side. You see it on the back. You see it on the front. And you have Porsche there as well. So maybe Porsche, you know, again, licensing gets more and more complicated. I talked about this with the drag strip demons. Like, you know, when you get like a race car and you've got all the different decals on it, it becomes more and more complicated. You've got Porsche, you might have shell, then you might have like a Pennzoil or something. And now Pennzoil has to okay it. And then a bunch of others. So that's why you see sometimes these cars in premium now get a little more simplified um, just because it's a little, you know, deco wise, because it's a little bit difficult to get all of the licensing, but this truck looks nice with shell and Porsche on it. That's really, really cool. And then let's take a look at this. This is fantastic. This looks really, really good. Spoiler says Shell MIT M2000. The yellow and red deco and kind of the way it wraps around the car and kind of is different from one side to the other. You know, it's yellow on yellow with red trim on one side, red with yellow trim on the other. This is phenomenal. 
Wow, what a cool, cool car. Does this, I don't know if it can pass Advan, but this looks really, really good. All right, that's the Porsche set. Really digging that. All right, let's talk. Let's talk Snake and Mongoose. I did that, uh, I mentioned that I bought an entire set of drag strip demons, both years, all 55 cars uh, over the weekend. And it seemed appropriate because this is the, uh, this is the next Snake and Mongoose release, number 46, my favorite number. Um, 46, uh, what was it, 44, 45, yeah, so this is the absolute latest one, right? This is the 72, well, it's also, it's the retro rig, plus the 72 Plymouth Cuda FC. Now, there is no way, like the drag bus in the 67 Camaro, there's no way to go through all the Snake and Mongoose. I'm sure there are Snake and Mongoose collectors out there. Brief, brief history. Snake and Mongoose, it was Don Prudhomme was Snake. I'm pulling out the team transport from before. And Tom McEwen was Mongoose. These were racers, these were drag racers from the uh, 60s and 70s who formed a rivalry, a friendship and a rivalry, kind of market, almost like you would like wrestling, like, I'll tell you one thing, Don, I'm going to come in, I'm going to beat you, that kind of stuff. And this was a kind of a breakthrough because they went to Mattel and asked Hot Wheels to sponsor. Hot Wheels said yes, and it was hugely beneficial for all parties. Don, uh, Don Prudhomme and Tom McEwen became kind of like a duo, a racing duo, a rivalry that people followed and they could go anywhere and people wanted to see them race against each other in all kinds of cars. And of course, Hot Wheels benefited from this with their you know, 60s and 70s with the California custom kind of look. This just fit perfectly. And we've seen Snake and Mongoose pop up constantly. So you've got these team transport sets, right? That um, were the latest Snake and Mongoose releases. And for me, because you've got these updated castings, which look beautiful, and I don't know the history of this exact, you know, of the, of the uh, Cuda and the, um, what is it, the Duster castings. You know, there's been several different ones, but these seem to be the most precise of those castings. They looked really good, and they were obvious team transport matches. Um, so both of those are very, very cool. And obviously we have now the Snake, the Don Prudhomme Snake 2. Now, before I even open that up, we still have more to kind of showcase here, because if you go to the Drag Strip Demons, and since I have them, I might as well show them, you can see that this car has been done before, but so have all of this, all of the uh, Snake and Mongoose cars. In fact, if I show this one, this is, you've got the uh, snake in yellow, then you have this one in white that's coming that uh, also showed up in uh, dra in the Drag Strip Demons. We also have this black version. I don't know if this is, yeah, this is Snake 3. So this is something that maybe we might see from, this is Drag Strip Demons, maybe we'll see this one show up in Team Transport very, very soon. But before that, hopefully, since Snake and Mongo's released together in the first Team Transport, this one is only released by itself. Hopefully we're going to see the Mongoose 2 released very, very soon. I have no idea if that's in the works for Hot Wheels, um, but if you look at both these, they both have very similar, like one's blue, one's white. Well, well, one is white with blue, one is blue with white. They both have flames on the front and on the top. So this would be an obvious duo, and they've been using the retro rig. They should continue to use it. So hopefully we're going to see a Team Transport version of the, uh, of the Mongoose 2 to complement the Snake 2. All right, enough history. Let's open this guy up. There's your art. Excited to put all these together. I'm just such on such a funny car kick right now, having purchased the drag strip demon. So I'm just super excited for these. And I've said this before, and I and I should probably say this. When you look at um, this modal. All right, this is a quick edit, only because I knocked over the microphone when I was filming the last video and didn't realize I hit the mute button, so the last bit of that video was totally muted, so I'm putting something together real quick to show you what I was meaning to show you this particular set. I was actually going to mention that this car, like the funny car, seems to have a relationship. They seem to be connected. These cool cars like the Super Silhouettes, of course, this isn't the R30 of the original Super, uh, super Silhouette, but obviously Liberty Walk is doing a tribute to that one with this R34, but these cars that basically start as a stock car and then get totally modified into something very different, kind of on the extreme end, it seems like these super silhouettes and some of these other race cars, Greenwood Corvette, for example, they all seem to be kind of interrelated, and it's this is where my tastes seem to be going when it comes to collecting, 
and I really kind of like that. All right, let's take a look at the truck real quickly. We've seen this rig before, the retro rig. Obviously, it's used on all on the other two, the previous versions of Snake and Mongoose. We've seen it in the Black Hole Gasser series that have been, that all seems very appropriate for this kind of race car. And uh, this one in the Snake 2 livery, which is nice with all of the logos as well. The Winds, the Goodyear, the Pennzoil, and of course, Snake 2 with the Hot Wheels logo. Oh, Bell as well. This one makes, uh, this one looks really cool. Don Perdome's name on the back. It is a perfectly, perfectly done and very fitting truck. Hopefully when we see the McEwen, if we ever do, we'll see those that one together as, as well. And here is the car, the Snake 2. Uh, someone pointed out when I did the uh, uh, video with the drag strip demons that maybe the one was a one of the cudas from the drag strip demons might have been maybe a 70 or 71 and then the other one was a 72 or something like that i might have it a little bit mixed up but these might represent two different years and maybe don don uh, prudome raced two different cudas during his time uh racing against mongoose so that might represent that might these might represent two different cars even though they're the same casting so that might be something to look into very, very cool, funny car. Just dig this. I love that we're building this set on top of the Drag Strip Demons from 10, uh, what, 13, 14 years ago. Now we're getting this Team Transport set, uh, belt and belt and belt, and hopefully it'll keep going. I don't remember what else I said when I was recording yesterday, but uh, you want to see the cars. I've done that. I've done my job. You guys tell me what you think. What's your favorite of the set? Is it the modal super silhouette? Seems like uh, that would be a lot of people's vote. Probably including mine, but I'm a big fan of the Snake 2, and you can't go wrong with that Porsche as well. Very, very cool team, tra team transport set. Look for it soon. Hobby dealers like Wheel Collectors, J Car, Village Diecast, they're all going to get them. Um, and then they're going to be in stores very soon as well. Thanks, everybody. Bye.